Hey there, it's your Avon lady, Chris Arnold, and I'm going to share with you tonight what I do for my evening skincare routine. So I've already done my cleansing, um, already cleansed my face and got that, that already. Did that in a separate video because we didn't want these to be too long. Um, and I will start by saying I probably, I would guess I use more skincare products than the average person. I've kind of got, you know, access to a lot of great products and, and I have a hard time choosing. Um, so I'm actually going to show you all of the different things that I um, usually use at night um, and show you ways that if you are using multiple products, how to, you know, layer those and mix those and um, how to have, you know, multiple products not turn into an hour long um, skincare routine. Um, I would say most nights from, from cleansing through, you know, moisturizing and stuff that I do with my hair and stuff at night that I probably do 10 to 15 minutes in the evening, um, you know, just doing my, my nighttime routine. Um, so first thing I start with is I start with the uh, Isanox New LX uh, Rejuvenating, um, uh, <laughs> Rejuvenating Eye Serum. It's part of our new connection, collection with the Peony Extract. It's a, a great line. And um, I do really like the, the results I've been getting. The, the circles under my eyes are not as, um, as dark as they were. Um, the, line, the wrinkles in that under the eye, because you know every time I smile, my, my under eye area goes like this. So there's a lot of wrinkles. Um, is, uh, you know, th so the, the whole area is kind of looking quite a bit better since I started using this. Um, I did not, however, replace um, I still kept the other two eye products that I was using. Um, I have one other product that I use at night and one other one that I use during the day. Um, mostly because this one is a serum, it's not actually um, strictly a moisturizer. I always use uh, my ring finger on the eye area just because that is your weakest finger and you really don't want to do a lot of tugging and pulling. Um, and I usually kind of um, swipe this one around, I kind of push it around a little bit. Um, just because this is the first thing I'm putting on, so my skin is a little bit drier. Um, I'll show you a little bit different technique with the other um, product that I use later. Um, so then the next step that I do, and there's a couple of different ways that I can do this, because um, one of the later products I do, I do more as a spot treatment. I don't use it all over. Um, so sometimes I will take my Anew Ultimate Supreme Advanced Performance Creme and my Anew Ultimate Supreme um, dual elixir that I realize all of a sudden is missing its cap <laughs> in the cabinet. Um, sometimes I will mix these together and do them as one step. That's one way um, that I can save some time. Um, other times I just do this as a, as a spot treatment in the areas that I don't use this dual night cream. So, um, so tonight I'm going to do, I'm going to do the dual elixir separate. Um, so I do one pump and so you get the the oil and the serum and then I kind of blend those together on my fingertips. I always try to stay like as close to the tips of my fingers as I can because I don't want to waste a lot of product on the palms of my hands. Um, and then I spread this plump just all over my face. And then I do a second pump for my neck and down onto my chest. Um, I don't do everything that I do on my face down onto my neck and chest. I actually don't do uh, most of the things on my face down onto my neck and chest. Um, although, you know, it's not a bad idea. It's just that um, my neck and chest do not need as much moisture. And if I put too much product on my neck, it gets um, kind of moist. It gets kind of sweaty feeling and, and doesn't feel good. So I stick with lighter weight things that really absorb well. Um, and the Ultimate Supreme, the, the Dual Elixir and the Advanced Performance Creme are um, both products they do kind of ad address all different signs of aging. Um, what I notice is they really help with evening out my skin tone. Um, they really have helped with um, the, the dark spots on my cheek. You see I, I still have one on my neck partly because I don't use stuff on my neck as much. Um, but I used to have that same brown spot on my, my cheeks and this has really helped um, to deal with that. So both of those products kind of help deal with that. And I just can't decide between the two of them. So I keep using both. 
Uh, when you're layering products, you do want to give each product time to do what we call dry down or, or absorb into the skin. Um, so you at least want to get it to the point that it's not tacky anymore because you don't want to like come with the next product behind it and just rub off what you just put on. Um, so the way I usually do that rather than standing around and waiting, tonight I'm doing it by talking in between products, um, but that's when I will do things um, like I'll put serum in my hair, I'll you know braid my hair for bed, um, I'll change into my pajamas in between layers. Um, I'll, you know, I like to, if I was wearing sunscreen during the day, I like to kind of take the washcloth, wash off my arms and put some lotion on them for bed so I don't have the, the sunscreen residue all night, that sort of thing. So, um, so that's the sort of things that I do in between layers to give things, give each layer time to absorb. Um, so my next layer <laughs> is going to be a combination of the Isanox Anu LX Ultimate Rejuvenating. Um, this is the dual night cream, so this is the night cream from that collection, um, and the Ultimate Supreme, uh, Ultimate Supreme Advanced Performance Creme. Um, so I do these as a spot treatment. I don't. So this is actually all three things for one layer. So I don't um, do each of these all over. So the dual night cream. You have this um, white side here. Is a firming cream and the pink side is a volumizing cream so I start with the pink side usually and um, I just get a little bit scooped out and I put that right here where my deepest line is and then just kind of gently I'm like not putting a ton of pressure just enough to, to kind of move it around um, on the forehead and then I also use this down here around my mouth where I have my deepest lines. You see I've got the kind of deep lines which are not as deep as they used to be since I started using this. Um, I get the, the kind of marionette lines along my, because I have chubby cheeks, and then I get these deep lines um, around my lips and off the corner of my mouth. So um, I just take little dabs of it here and, and make sure I get those areas to help because that's the volumizing cream and then just anything I have left on the spatula I just go ahead and add that to what I've done on my forehead now one thing I do at night during the day um, one of my goals um, actually I'll show you so the firming cream I use this on my neck so this is the only other thing I do um, on my neck at night so I just do that the dual elixir to kind of help with the discoloration that I have on my neck and even that out a bit and kind of nourish <laughs> the skin on my neck and down um, onto my chest there and then the firming cream because you know got to keep this area firm or there's going to be even more chins than there already are here <laughs> um, and then I just finish with the advanced performance creme for this layer um, on my cheeks so I just get a little bit of extra nourishment on my cheeks and, you know, the side of my nose. And I always want to make sure I get up along the side of the eyes there. So even though I'm using, you know, two different products here, these are going to last quite a while because I'm not using very much of either one of them or any of the three of them. Um, so they all kind of... Um, you know, kind of go together that way. Um, then my next step while I'm waiting for that to absorb is um, I use, um, you know, some kind of lip balm each night. Um, lately I have been using the VDL uh, marble uh, lip cube treatment and it's kind of just a marbled, this one happens to be pink. Uh, we also have a peach one and we have a mint one that's colorless that the, the stick is green but it doesn't leave any color. So I just do that, moisturize my lips in between, um, and then uh, my next step is our um, clinical eye lift. This is another dual product, and um, we have this kind of um, gel on this side is for the upper eye area. So I just scoop a little bit of that out, and um, and should be using my ring finger for this. This is the eye area, and this just kind of goes just real lightly over the lid and then up under the brow. And I 
got a little bit too much out of the jar this time. <laughs> Um, and then the other side there is the, um, the under eye cream. And this is, I said earlier, I was going to show you a, kind of a different way that I put stuff on under the eyes. So I take some for this eye and this time I just, I'm going to pat it in. So I, again, I don't want to rub away what I put there earlier. Um, and this is another really gentle way so you just pat and you're just, you know, you're overlapping. So it's kind of spreading it around. And this one I bring down, you know, kind of on the top of my cheekbones and that. And this is, you know, where the crow's feet might, um, might develop there. Um, and so, yeah, earlier I was going to say, like, at night, one thing, um, in the mornings, one thing that my, my goal is in the morning with my skincare is to make sure that my skin does not get shiny before the end of the day. So I'm very light with my products and I specifically pick products that, um, that don't, that are, that are designed to have sort of a matte finish to them and not leave, um, you know, kind of discourage that oil produ production throughout the day that leaves my face shiny. At night, I don't care if my face is shiny. Um, so one of the things that like you can do if you're looking at a lot of different products that you want to use and you're trying to decide what are you going to use during the day, what are you going to use during the night, obviously use the richer products at night um, because you can, um, you still want to give things time to, to dry down. And you see another thing that I did was after I did that last layer that kind of went all over my face, I went to the lips and the eyes so that I gave that time to absorb. So that's another tactic I use. Um, to kind of do that without, you know, standing around waiting. Um, so you can, you can put thicker layers of product at night um, and, and richer products at night and, and a more products at night. So you can go with really thick layers of one or two products or you can do thinner layers of several products. Um, I really wouldn't go more than three layers overall on any given area of the face, um, just because at that point things aren't aren't getting through. Um, and you always want to do your lightest products. So you typically do serums before moisturizers, but you always want to do your lightest products first. Um, so this is actually my my last uh, layer, my kind of finishing touch, and this one is the Dr. Belmer Advanced. Um, Sika recovery cream so this is um, because my my skin does tend to be a little sensitive I don't really have what I would call well I guess I probably do have sensitive skin I've just gotten so used to it over the years that I don't use a lot of things that irritate my skin um, but anything during the day or, or anything that does irritate my skin this really soothes it and and leaves my skin um, just extra moisturized, um, and it kind of, um, the Sika, it has sort of, um, it encourages the skin to kind of heal itself. So, um, this is just kind of helps with any, any irritation that I may have gotten throughout the day, super moisturizing. And it just kind of, I put kind of a thick layer of that. It just kind of seals in everything else that I've put on. And like I said, it's, it's a little, you know, it stays a little tacky. You can see you can definitely tell that my skin is well moisturized at this point, um, but it's the end of the day. I'm not going anywhere else. I'm going to be going to bed soon. Um, so, and I do my my nighttime skin routine early enough that this has got plenty of time to rub um, absorb before I'm rubbing my face all over my pillow. Um, I also do that because for me, splashing water in my face and cleansing my face just before bed guarantees I'm not going to sleep. So um, so I do it a little bit earlier in the evening usually, um, sometime between after dinner and the, you know, an hour or so before I go to bed. So everything's got time to absorb before I lay down and, and so I'm not rubbing any off on the pillow. So that's also something else to um, keep in mind. But that is um, my nighttime skincare routine. And um, like I said, you know, it, it is more, more products than most people would use, um, but hopefully that gave you some idea of if you do want to combine products, how you can go about doing it, either, you know, mixing a couple products together and applying them together. Um, and I'll show you a little bit more about that. I do that more regularly in my daytime routine um, with a couple of the products um, and just giving the each layer 
time to dry down. So, so of course, on my on my eyes, I have just the two layers. I have the the uh, rejuvenating serum and the dual um, clinical eye lift, the dual eye system, and then uh, just the two layers on the neck of the um, the firming cream and the dual elixir. And then um, overall, I have the dual elixir all over and the Dr. Belmer uh, recovery cream all over, but then I spot treat with that dual night cream and the advanced performance cream. So, um, so that's how I kind of keep it from being too overwhelming. Um, but yeah, this is about the most I would ever do. <laughs> and uh, so I hope you found this um, helpful. As always, if you have any questions about, um, you know, figuring out a skincare routine for yourself, I'm always happy to help. Uh, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon.